As October 2025 draws to a close, North America finds itself at the center of a dramatic and rare weather split. Unlike anything seen in recent years, the continent is gripped by two opposing forces, each powerful in its own right, setting the stage for a truly extraordinary end to the month. In the south, a major hurricane churns relentlessly through the Caribbean, threatening islands with destructive winds and torrential rain. Meanwhile, to the north, Arctic blasts are sweeping down across the United States, bringing a sudden and intense chill that is shattering temperature records and catching many off guard. These two powerful forces, Hurricane Melissa surging in the tropics and a deep atmospheric shift unleashing intense cold across the central and eastern U.S., are not just coincidental. They are part of a larger interconnected pattern that is reshaping weather across the entire region, with each system feeding off the other's energy in a complex atmospheric dance. First, we'll take a closer look at Hurricane Melissa's explosive growth. Fueled by unusually warm Caribbean waters, Melissa has rapidly intensified, becoming a major threat to coastal communities. The storm's size and strength are already setting it apart from typical late-season hurricanes, and its unpredictable path has residents and officials on high alert. Then, we'll turn our attention northward, where a persistent, atmospheric pattern is sending waves of frigid air deep into the U.S. This early arrival of winter is transforming the landscape, blanketing cities and countryside alike in snow and frost, and abruptly ending what had been a mild, pleasant autumn for millions. What's happening isn't just a passing storm or a brief cold snap, it's a large-scale atmospheric reorganization, with the jet stream dipping far to the south and locking this pattern in place for weeks. This shift is expected to have far-reaching impacts, affecting everything from travel and agriculture to energy demand and daily life. In this chapter, we'll break down the timing and impacts of each event, We'll follow Melissa's projected path, examining which islands and coastlines are most at risk and how emergency services are preparing for the storm's arrival. At the same time, we'll track the waves of cold and snow sweeping across the U.S., from the first flakes in the Midwest to the deep freeze reaching as far south as Texas and the Gulf Coast. We'll see how communities are coping with the sudden shift and what it means for the weeks ahead. By the end of this chapter, you'll have a clear picture of this volatile autumn, how these extremes are affecting daily life, the challenges faced by millions from the Caribbean to the American heartland, and what to expect as the season continues to unfold. So, let's dive in and explore this remarkable season of extremes, where nature's power is on full display and the weather is rewriting the rules for autumn 2025. Hurricane Melissa has rapidly intensified into a catastrophic Category 5 storm, now making landfall in Jamaica. Winds over 157 mph and torrential rain are battering the island, with life-threatening storm surge and flash flooding. Jamaica faces catastrophic damage, with the eyewall now moving ashore. Melissa's satellite image is a textbook buzzsaw, a perfectly symmetrical ferocious cyclone at peak power. The storm's rapid intensification left little time for preparation, catching many off guard. Warm ocean waters fueled this explosive growth, turning a tropical storm into a worst-case scenario. For Jamaica, this is a fight for survival against nature's fury. Melissa is now unleashing its full potential on all in its path. After Jamaica, Hurricane Melissa's northward path targets Cuba next threatening widespread devastation. Cuba's elongated shape means much of the country will endure prolonged hurricane conditions, risking a major humanitarian crisis. The Bahamas and Turks and Caicos are on high alert, especially vulnerable to storm surge and destructive winds. Melissa's projected path then curves toward Bermuda, which, despite strong building codes, could face a severe test. Even if slightly weakened, Melissa will remain a dangerous hurricane as it nears Bermuda. The forecast cone shows uncertainty. Small track shifts could mean the difference between a glancing blow and a direct hit. Governments and residents across the region are racing to prepare for this monstrous storm. The Caribbean braces for Melissa's relentless advance. Melissa's power comes from a perfect storm of conditions, deep warm ocean water and low wind shear. These factors let the hurricane rapidly intensify, spinning up to maximum strength in hours. The buzzsaw structure means devastating winds extend equally in all directions. No side is safe. A clear, calm eye signals extreme strength, 
surrounded by the eye wall's most violent winds and rain. This symmetry ensures anyone in Melissa's path faces the full force of a Category 5 storm. Forecasters dread these setups, as they leave little time for communities to prepare. Melissa is a textbook example of a hurricane reaching its peak potential. It's a perfectly engineered natural disaster. While the Caribbean battles heat and fury, with tropical storms churning up the warm waters and dark clouds looming on the horizon, a very different story is unfolding to the north. The contrast between the steamy tropics and the rapidly cooling continent is about to become even more dramatic. Across the United States, millions are about to experience a sudden dramatic shift to intense cold. The warmth of early autumn is vanishing almost overnight, replaced by biting winds and plunging temperatures that catch many off guard. A persistent high-pressure ridge in the west is acting like a wall, forcing the jet stream to buckle and dive far to the south. This powerful atmospheric setup is steering frigid air masses out of the Arctic and straight into the heart of the country. As the jet stream dips, it opens the door for Arctic air to flood the central and eastern U.S., sweeping across the plains and into major cities. Fields and towns that were basking in mild weather just days ago are now bracing for a deep freeze. The first Arctic blast is already dropping temperatures sharply, sending thermometers tumbling and turning morning air crisp and icy. People wake up to see their breath hanging in the air, a sure sign that winter is arriving ahead of schedule. This cold snap couldn't come at a more surprising time, just in time for Halloween. Costumes are hidden beneath heavy coats, and trick-or-treaters crunch through snow and frost as they go door-to-door. -door. This isn't a gentle cool-down. Temperatures are plunging well below average, shattering records in some places. News outlets report on the unseasonable chill, and people bundle up in layers usually reserved for January. Highs are struggling to climb out of the 30s and 40s, while overnight lows dip to levels more typical of midwinter. Frost coats windows and lawns, and the cold seems relentless. The reason for this stubborn chill lies in the atmosphere's larger pattern. The positive Pacific North American pattern, or PNA, is locking this setup in place, preventing warmer air from returning anytime soon. This cold isn't a brief event, it's the start of a prolonged chill for the eastern half of the nation. The atmosphere has reorganized, and the jet stream's new path means the cold will linger, bringing early snow and icy conditions to millions. For families scraping ice off their cars and neighborhoods blanketed in early snow, it's clear, winter is arriving early for millions, and the usual autumn routines are being replaced by winter's demands. The stage is set for weeks of frigid weather, as the nation braces for a winter that has come knocking long before the calendar says it should. The first Arctic blast is just the beginning. More waves of frigid air are on the way. A second blast arrives by the end of October, reinforcing the cold with no warm-up in between. Early November brings a third Arctic surge, pushing temperatures even lower and locking the region into a relentless cold pattern. Major weather models agree, this isn't a short cold snap, but a dominant, weeks-long pattern. The Great Plains to the East Coast will shiver in conditions more typical of December. Even as models hint at brief, mild spells, another stronger blast is always on the horizon. The eastern U.S. is bracing for a sustained, defining period of cold. This atmospheric setup is steering not just temperatures but precipitation across the nation. The Pacific Northwest faces heavy persistent rain, risking flooding and landslides. A coastal storm brings wind and rain to the Carolinas and up the East Coast, making for a soggy end to October. In contrast, the Southern Plains and Gulf Coast remain dry, raising wildfire risks as vegetation dries out. The cold air means early season snow for the upper Midwest, Great Lakes, and Appalachians, unusually heavy for this time of year. The Catskills, Adirondacks, and New England Mountains could see significant snowfall. It's a classic case of feast or famine wet and snowy in the east, dry in the south. The nation's weather is split by extremes. The U.S. weather map is split in two, a dramatic contrast that defines the nation's climate this season. On one side, the west basks in warmth and tranquility, with golden sunlight stretching across California's rolling hills and the Pacific Northwest's evergreen forests. Residents in cities like Los Angeles and San Francisco are treated to clear skies and mild afternoons, a welcome break from the usual winter gloom. The air feels gentle, and outdoor life flourishes, with people flocking to parks, 
beaches, and hiking trails to soak up the sun. This pleasant weather is no accident. A persistent high-pressure ridge dominates the west coast, acting like a protective shield. It blocks cold, stormy air from intruding, keeping the region dry and stable. The skies remain mostly cloudless and rain is scarce, making for an unusually calm stretch of days. Meanwhile, the story is entirely different east of the Rockies. The central and eastern U.S. are gripped by a relentless invasion of Arctic air. Temperatures plunge far below normal, and the wind bites with every gust. The jet stream, that powerful river of air high above, has dipped southward, creating a direct pipeline for frigid Siberian air to pour into the heart of America. Daytime highs in the north struggle to escape the 30s and 40s, and even the south feels the unseasonable chill. In places like Atlanta and Dallas, residents are reaching for jackets and scarves much earlier than usual. While Los Angeles enjoys endless sunshine, Chicago and New York bundle up for a winter that feels like it arrived overnight. This sharp temperature divide is the defining feature of the season, a vivid reminder of how the jet stream's path can deliver two entirely different autumns within one nation, one warm and inviting, the other cold and unyielding. As October ends, North America faces two headline weather events, Hurricane Melissa's fury in the Caribbean and a deep freeze gripping the U.S. Melissa's rapid intensification and destructive path threaten Jamaica, Cuba, and the Bahamas, while the U.S. braces for a prolonged Arctic invasion. The West stays warm and dry, the East is cold, wet, and snowy, a nation divided by the jet stream. These extremes show how interconnected weather systems can create simultaneous, opposing impacts. As November begins, vigilance is key, safety for those in Melissa's path, and preparation for a long, cold spell in the U.S. This autumn is anything but ordinary, offering a dramatic preview of the winter ahead. Brace yourselves, the season of extremes is just beginning.